Hello guys, uh, this is a video in sequence to that uh, done on the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro with the ND filters. So this is the DJI Mini 2 uh, fitted on with uh, ND8 polarized filter uh, by RC Geek. So I couldn't find this in Amazon but uh, it's available in where I live. And uh, here you can see that the image is actually pretty dark. So I have to tune up the ISO to about 400 in order to uh, see the image uh, clearer up when uh, in the air. So under 100 it is just too dark. So on the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro you can see that I've also used uh, ND8 but it was uh, just too bright. Of course that, uh, that uh, filter doesn't come with a polarized lens. So this one will look uh, much better when uh, looking at the water here. So also I will provide a link on another video with just the footage itself without this uh, uh, screen recording uh, taken on the iPad mini 6. So you can see that the screen recording is actually quite big because the iPad mini 6 is recording in a uh, way bigger resolution and it's a bit much more squarer compared to a rectangle size uh, screen recording done on a phone okay moving on um, as you can see from the image here the uh, details of it is just uh, disappointing because I think by putting one sun, just imagine this you're putting a sunglasses in front of a glass so you're looking through a glass through another sunglasses so of course the image quality might drop uh, significantly even though uh, you, ha you are using a very good sunglasses so this analogy will uh, just show you how um, limited the uh, capabilities it is if you are using an ND filter on a mini drone because a mini drone um, made like in a small form factor they uh, have to sacrifice a lot of things to make it into this size so you couldn't compare the image quality of course with a uh, Mavic Pro or A2S which has like a better image sensor and also a better glass manufacturer for them. So you can see that yes the water looks uh, much clearer but looking at the trees uh, it just looks smudgy and uh, of course there's some haze in front of us so that might also play a role but uh, overall I think that mini drones, uh, if you're fitting on with any any filters, be it a good brand or lousy brand, and uh, you will see some level of significant uh, drop in uh, image quality as well. So this is the uh, conclusion I found uh, from testing out ND filters with these uh, mini drones I have so far. So as you can see, I'm actually the white balance is a bit off, so I need to. Uh, change it a bit to uh, what my eye sees uh, much more natural to my eyes and also because we are on a polarized uh, ND filter uh, it, it might get a bit tricky when it comes to uh, tuning the white balance I mean just my opinion so if any of you guys who are like you know more about cameras do leave your comments and uh, we'll discuss it and uh, hopefully we will uh, learn something from one another on this uh, camera issue so moving on we are i think for now iso 200 and a white balance of uh, 6400 with 1 over 60 shuttle looks uh, perfect in uh, this scenario so do note on that and also um, actually i think that maybe nd4 might be much better for my situation but uh maybe we'll try that in another day and for now you can uh, enjoy the rest of the remaining clip or remove the uh, screen recording and uh, do enjoy the video.